Yud Beis, Amit Beis. So we'll start Yud Beis, Amit Aleph, five lines from the bottom of the two dots. So continuing on with Shemana Esrei and some of the Hanhagas um, that we have to be knowing in Shemana Esrei. Vama Rabba Barchenen, Asav Mishmei Derav, HaMispalel, Keshu Kireya, Vistavani Shemana Esrei. When he's Kireya, when he bows down, Kireya Babarak. So he bends his knees when he says Borok. Ogeshu Zoikev. And when he picks himself up, so he bends his knees, he bows down. So he commences with Borok. When he raises himself up, Zoikev Beshem. When he says the Shem Hashem, that's when he raises his back, his body up. Amr Shmuel, my time has arrived. Why did he say that? Dechsiv Hashem Zoikev Kufim. So when you say the Shem Hashem, Hashem Zoikev Kufim, he has to be upright. Mesve, I'll ask you a kasha. I, the Pasuk says, Mipne Shmi, it says, Mipne Shmi, Nechas Hu. So you see that it's a lotion of being gentle, being humble, of humility. So from the Shem Hashem, you're saying the Shem Hashem Zoykev, that we are upright. Here it implies that we have to be humble, which to be lower down. So the Mora says, no, Mixi Bishmi, it doesn't say Bishmi at the time when you when you mention my name, Mipneshmi, before my name, see. So therefore, before the Shem Hashem is mentioned, he's bowed down. But when the Shem Hashem is mentioned, Bishmi is already, he's like if he's upright. So the son of a Talmud Choch, Tov, Eimelach Milsam, Al Yosa, I'll tell you some of the precious things to Omar, Avuch, that your father said, Hachi Amar Avuch, this is what he said, Keshu Kireya, when he bends, he bows down, Kireya Babarok, Keshu Zoykev, Zoykev, Bishem, Zoykev, when he says the Shem Hashem, Rosh Kikara, when he bowed down, Kara Kechizer, like a stick, like on a stick, you lower it. It's it's in one one swoop. It's in one in one time. It's not gradual. Because Zakiv, when he raised himself up, Zakiv kechivra like a snake, like a snake which is first the head and then the rest of the body. So when he bowed down, it was sudden. It was in one one swoop. When he uh, when he was picked himself up and with Zakiv, it was like a snake, head first and then the rest of the body. Another memra from the same mandamra. Vama Rabba Barchen in the Sabbath Shmei Durav. Kol Hashanah Kula the whole year. When he davened Shmei Nesrei, Adam is Palal. Hakel Hakadosh Melach Oyim Tzedakah Mishpat. That's the nusach of the brachas when he says the third one is Kel Hakadosh, and then when he says the Melach Oyim Tzedakah Mishpat, it's a, the nusach is Melach Oyim Tzedakah Mishpat. Chutz Me Asar Yom Shabbat Rosh Hashanah V'Yom Hakipurim Shemis Palal Hamelach Hakadosh. The third bracha is not Hakel HaKadosh, it's a Melech HaKadosh, because on those days the Rabbani Shalom is a Melech, he's the king, he rules over the world, there's a greater manifestation of his Malchus. V'hamelech HaMishpat, not Melech Oyhev to Dr. Mishpat, HaMelech V'hamelech HaMelech HaMishpat, because he judges the world. For Elazar Amar, he says, no, I feel Amar HaKel HaKadosh, you also... He says, even if he says a kela kodesh, you're still yaitzer shenem ravayiba vayigva Hashem tzvakes va mishpat vayala kodesh nikdash b'tzdoka. So it says vayigva Hashem tzvakes va mishpat kela kodesh. He must say vayigva Hashem tzvakes va mishpat. When is that time when Hashem is vayav vayigva be mishpat? When he is now raises himself up, he is the master of. The Mishpat, when is that? That's Elosar Yom Shemir Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. That's Aser Simei Tshuva. And nevertheless, we call it Hakel Hakolish. It says Hakel Hakolish. My Hava Allah, what's Maskona? I'm Rav Yisuf Hakel Hakolish. O Melech Oyev Tzedaka Mishpat. That Rav Yisuf says we do not deviate. Rav Amar Melech Hakolish v'Ham Melech Hamishpat. You say Hamelach Hakod Hamelach Vehilchus Karab, and that is Halacha. And there again different Minhagim, but the Ramon Paskins Mishnabura Rabbeinu Zayi Minig Ashkenaz is that Lechatchila Hamelach Hakodesh, and even B'diavet. He doesn't say it is not Yitz. 
Melech Hamishpat is Lachar Chila, but but the Yevad we didn't say that he is Yaisa. Another member from the same Andam Rav Amar Rav Barkin and the Savim Shmei the Rab. Someone who has the ability to be daven for his friend, to mivakish rachmim for his friend, and he's not, he's not mivakish, nikra chayta is called a sinner. Shenemar gama noichi chalila li machtoi l'ashem machadol ispal about chem shmuel hanavi said that chalila that I would be considered machatoi to be a chayta if I didn't daven on your behalf. So see that if one could daven on behalf of others and he doesn't, he's nikra chayta. Because the tamar chacham, then you have to even more. The one that needs rachmim, if it's a tamar chacham, then the one who's mispal has to daven, just not simply daven, he has to daven to the point where he even makes himself to the point where he's sick over it. So where do we see this? My time, that Shol Hamela complained to his to his avodim. He complained that he felt that Yenison was being a traitor and siding with David. And he said that no one to, from you reveals this to me. No one from you is sick over this. Is sick because of this to me. So you see that they should have been Mavakis Ravim. He held and. Even to the point where they're becoming a chayla. The Gemara says, "Dilma melech shiny." Well, that's true, perhaps, but that soul was a king. For a king to be mivakish rachmi, for a king, it's to the point where you're a chayla. But how do you know that if it's someone who's a common who's not a king? Alamahacha. From the following pasuk, we see this because David Melech said, "Va'ani b'chaloisam," and as far as me, in their sickness. In their sickness, Levushi Sak, I am in their sickness, I am is a mourner, a person who wears a sock, and it's uh and and to me I, 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 I mourn over them and and grieve over them and uh, that they should uh, that they should uh, be uh, that they should be uh, healed and there should be rachman for them. Someone who does an aver. Again, another memra from him from the same where he says, Everyone does an aver and he's embarrassed. He feels embarrassed and, and disgraced from it. They forgive him for all his averas. There's Machlex Rishenim. Does it mean for all his averas or means any avera which any avera which he does, any avera which he is embarrassed? Then he'll have forgiveness for that of there. That busha is a form of tshuva and a form of mechila. Shenemar leman tiskar vavoyish lo yelach oid piskon pem ibnei klimosa bekafilach kol alachol asher alsis nu mashem elakim. So it says that you, if you're embarrassed, then bekafilach I'll we mechaper will be kapora for you. So you see that busha is a kapora. Mar says, but Sibur shiny. Yes, it's true, but maybe that's as far as a Tzibur. The Navi is talking to Klal Yisrael, is talking to the Tzibur. Maybe if the Tzibur, the whole Tzibur, the Gantz Tzibur is Mizvayish, that's different. Elamahach, we learn that from the following by Yemer Shmuel El Shol, Lama Higas Tani Lahalois Oisi. When Shmuel, when Shol Melach was in desperate straits and he was going to be attacked, and he was going to be attacked. Uh, by the plishtim, uh, he wrote, he brought Shmuel from from the uh, from the grave from the kever, and Shmuel was upset with him, and he said, "Lama Higastani Lal Saisi, why did you agitate me to uh, to bring me back?" Vayyimer Shal Shal said, "Sarli Me'ayt, I'm greatly agitated, and when Sar U plishtim will come and be, and the plishtim are for." Attacking me, the Plishtim are attacking me and fighting against me. Vashem Sar Me'elai and Rabbi Shailam has now gone, left me, has departed from me. Veloy Anani Oit, Gambiyad in the Vim, and he has not answered me when I call out to him. He doesn't answer me. Veloy Anani Oit, he doesn't come out, doesn't answer me. Gambiyad in the Vim, Gamba Chaloimus, the Echo Hokla idea, Ma'ese. And I called out to you to find out what should I do. 
I'm calling out to find what should I do. I, I'm trying every way. I tried every which way to, to, to find out, to get an answer from Hashem. And I tried with Nevim. I tried with Halimas. And I have no answer. Hashem is not answering me. Now, he didn't mention the most obvious one. The most obvious one that he should have mentioned was Ve'ilu Ulam Vatumim Loi he didn't mention the Urmatuma. Why didn't he mention the Urmatuma? Normally, when there's a Shaila, <coughs> the question is asked, the Urmatuma? The Urmatuma, like Kohan, but why didn't he mention that? Because he was embarrassed. Mishum de Katal and Noi Kohan. Because he killed out no Ira Kohan. So that's why he didn't mention it, because he was responsible. The question is asked, the Urmatuma through the Kohan. And he killed out the Kohan. So he was embarrassed. He didn't mention the Urban to him. So you see, he had Busha. And I don't know that he was forgiven, that they forgave him. It says that tomorrow, that you and your sons are with me. That tomorrow, you and your son are with me. So Shaul said, Ashmol said to Shaul that tomorrow you and your son will be with me. Meaning not only that you'll be killed, but you'll be with me in where I am, in the high levels of Oilam Haba. That's where you'll be. So you see, he had a kapara for his avers. Rabban and Amr Mahaf, they say a different sores. Rabban and Hashem, Begiva Shaul, Bechir Hashem. So it says that by the, there was a famine at the time of David Melach, and they they inquired as to what the reason was, and they said it's because of the Givainim were mistreated by Shaul. So they wanted the comma, and they wanted the comma from his seven sons that they should be hung, and they should be hung before Hashem and give a Shaul. And the conclusion of the Pesach is Bechir Hashem. So they wouldn't have called Shaul Bechir Hashem because they had sinner for him. They, because of how he but they felt they mistreated him, that they treated them harshly. So Bechir Hashem is Yotza Baskal Vamar Bechir Hashem. So you see that Shaul was forgiven. He had Mechila, he had Busha, and he had Kapora. So if a person has Busha for his affairs, he has Kapora. Amar Rav Vavar Bar Zutral Se Amar Vihuda Bar Zav Zvida Abiksha Likvoi Parshas Bala Bekriyashma. So we mentioned that the Anche, the Kahanim, that the Namuda said that they should recite uh, uh, Krishna and Sarasa Divras, etc. So there was an additional parasha that was uh, added, was mentioned when they said Krishna. So they wanted to be Kaveya Parshas Bolak and Krishna. When we said Parshas uh, uh, Krishna, they wanted to add in also that we should mention the parasha of Bolak. Why did they not establish their Mishum Tayrat Sibur? Because of the tirch of the tzibur was too much, is too lengthy. My time, uh, what was the reason that they had wanted to establish it over there? My time, Elaim and Shum Dachsiba Kel Maitzim Mitzrayim. As mentions Yitzias Mitzrayim, that's the reason. Well, if that's so, Elaim of Parshas Ribis, a Parsha Mishkolas. Let's uh, let us say rather the Parsha of Ribis and in not taking interest and the scholars and being honest in the weights. They'll see by hand you see Mitzrayim, but also says you see Mitzrayim. Why Dafka did they want to say Parshas Bolak? El Hamar Vyesi Bar Avi Mishum Dachsi Bo Hai Kro because it says Korah Shachal Kari U Kalavi Mi Kemenu. So that's a reference of Bishachav Kumecha, which is similar to Krishna. And and therefore they wanted to say that it has a reference to Krishna. And it also has, as Masha points out, that you know, colleagues, with, uh, when you're talking and how a person should be over to Shem, he should be over to Shem like a Kalavi, like a lion to get up with quickly and enthusiasm to be over to Shem. So, practically more, well, if that's the case, and the reason that we don't say it is because let us just say that Pasek. Why do we have to say the entire parsha is bolik, and then there's that problem tircha de tzibur? It's too lengthy. If the reason that we want to say it begin is because of that pasuk, just say that pasuk. More answers: Gemiri kol parsha the pasuk Moshe Rabbeinu paskinen. Any parsha that pasuk that Moshe Rabbeinu that's a pasuk that he that that he made that into a parsha, then we can say that on its own. The le pasuk Moshe Rabbeinu le paskinen. 
But this is not, Maish Rabbeinu did not make this into a separate parsha, so we cannot isolate it and remove it and extract it and only say that because it's not a parsha that Maish Rabbeinu designated as a separate parsha. So now we're discussing why we say these various things in Krishna. Parsha Tzitzis Mipnei Makavua. Why were they Kevaya Tzitzis in Krishna? On Rabbi Hirabar Chaviva Mipnei Shiyesh Bar Chavisha Dvorim. That has five significant things. Mitzvah Tzitzis. As Mitzvah Tzitzis. You see it's Mitzrayim. It says Man Pizkru has Mitzvah Mitzrayim in mention. All Mitzvahs. It has on it mentioned in it all Mitzvahs that we take upon ourselves. The old mitzvahs, it says our season has called mitzvah. So it shows that we are taking we're, we are taking upon ourselves the yoke of the mitzvahs that we're going to perform the mitzvahs, the das minim, and it has on it das minim that it has on it the minim that they they darshan the psukim in the improper way, and which we'll see in a minute, and it has to negate that here or there. A hero of Avodah and not to be mahar to think thoughts about Averis, not to think thoughts about Avodah Zara. So Bishlam Hanit Lasa Mefarsh. So these three are explicit. All mitzvahs that see Vura Isim Oisu Zachartem is called mitzvahs Hashem. It says over there the all mitzvahs. It says Rishim, and Zachartem is called mitzvahs Hashem. So it says that clear. And tzitzis d'chsi v'asulam tzitzis or even the moisa uzachatim is called mitzvah. At tzitzis d'chsi v'asulam tzitzis v'goyim yitzis misraim asher oitzesi. It says asher oitzesi grass misraim eladas minim v'hiro hiro or avera v'hiro avera zara minolan. Where do we see that it has a reference to these in Yonim? It's high. Achrei levavchem zuminus that you should not go after your heart. You should not go after. The way that Yetzir Har tries to sway you to go after Apikars. Vechenu Oimer Omar Novel Beliboy says the novel said in his heart. So that's Akhulavavan Enelakim. So that's that's clear. So you see the heart is the one that sways the person. And in Sitzes, in the Parashat Sitzes, it says Akhir Levavchem. It should not follow the Yetzir of your heart. Akhir Nechem Zihiru Rabbeir. After your eyes, that's here or Avera, where a person, it will lead a person to have thoughts about Znus, about Avera, Shinemar, Vayem, Shim, Shinavav, Oisa, Kachli, Kihi, Ashar, Be'ena. In his eyes, he saw her and he wanted her, that is the Hirhor of a Znus of Avera. Atem Zainim, it says in Parsha Simash, Atem Zainim, the Hirhor of Avera, Zora, Vachinu, Oimar, Vayiznu, Akhri, Habal, and Baal is Avera, Zora, and that's a reference to so in Parshas Tzitzis it has a reference to all these items and we say it so that it reminds us of what our obligations are and what we should avoid and all of the pitfalls.